Patient Management Guide. The following are basic guidelines for patient management strategies and are not necessarily appropriate for all applications. These guidelines have been derived from clinical practice up to the date of production of this video and, as such, may change with further clinical experience. Patient management with the 3100B is made easy as only two of the five controls are routinely used. These are the mean airway pressure and amplitude, or delta P, the controls for bias flow, frequency, and inspiratory time percent are rarely changed during the course of treatment. Typically, the bias flow is maintained within the range of 25 to 40 liters per minute. In practice, as patient size increases, starting frequency is decreased. For adult populations, frequency is typically initiated at 5 to 6 hertz. Although some cases may benefit from an inspiratory time percent of 50, in most therapeutic situations, an inspiratory time percent of 33 has been found to be effective. As stated previously, oxygenation is primarily managed by manipulation of the mean airway pressure. Chest X-rays can be effective tools in determining satisfactory inflation pressure. In HFOV, mean airway pressures are usually initiated at 5 to 8 centimeters of water pressure above those used in conventional ventilation. In the case of air leak syndrome, it is prudent to accept mean airway pressures similar to conventional ventilation while utilizing a higher fraction of inspired oxygen. Once the oxygen has been reduced to less than 40%, begin weaning mean airway pressure while still maintaining adequate lung inflation and arterial PO2. The transition to conventional ventilation should be attempted only when each of the following parameters have been met. Mean airway pressure has been stable for a period of time appropriate for the pathology, the patient is tolerating position changes and procedures well, and arterial blood gases are acceptable and stable. When transitioning to conventional ventilation, the mean airway pressure should remain at a similar level to the mean airway pressure used in HFOV. A typical plan for returning a patient to conventional ventilation often involves the use of pressure control ventilation with the low stretch strategy. Weaning from conventional ventilation would then follow individual institutional practice. This concludes our presentation on the 3100B High Frequency Oscillatory Ventilator. Should you have any further questions, please contact your product representative or technical support at the telephone number provided in your operator's manual.